our topic in this lesson is the tkinter entry widget. Hello everyone and welcome to the Python tkinter course. In this lesson we will talk about the tkinter entry widget. This is a particularly important widget. This is the third tkinter widget we will learn today. And with these three widgets, we will be able to write small applications. Let's start. As always, I already written the code for today in advance, and now I'll share it with you. Let's start the program and see what I have made. As you can see, it's a simple GUI window with a label, an entry, and a button widget. The first thing we should talk about it is the pack method. As you already know, we use place method to set the position of the tkinter widgets. A simple code like widget pack is enough for this. For fine tuning, we also have other options like pad x and pad e, for example. These options, pad X and pad E, gives the number of pixels of padding to be added to the widget just outside the widget's border. To make this a little easier to understand, I've created two graphics to illustrate this visually. I will suggest that you pause the video at that point to look at the two graphics a little closer. The pick method automatically lets the controls appear from top to the bottom, which is the default setting. You can also use the side parameter to change the arrangement. With the option side is equal to left, we position the widget on the left side. All three widgets on our window here were placed with the option side is equal to left. On the left. The widgets are automatically placed next to each other without spacing or padding. We can grade a distance to the next widget with pad X and pad E. We will cover the topic of layout management in Tkinte very extensively in the coming lessons. Therefore, we don't want to deal with it any further at this point. We will now deal with the today's topic, the entry widget. The entry widget gives the user the possibility to enter a one-line text. I have created a simple function that I have called it entry underscore content. And with it, we want to get the text from our entry widget, which we have called it entry 01 here. Now we want to test this. To do this, I start the program. And enter the text hello world here. If I click on the button here now, the function will be executed. And in the function, as you can see here, our label 02 gets the text from our entry widget. And we do that here with the get method. With this, we can read the content of the entry widget self onto 01. But we can also add a text to the entry widget from our program. And that's very easy to do with the insert method. For this, I will activate this code here by commenting out these lines here. And we'll start the program now. As you can see here, below in our program code, our entry widget is given the insert method. This contains two parameters, one for the index and one for the text. The text positions the text inside the entry widget. 
Zero means th that the text will be positioned at the beginning of the entry widget. So if we start our function now, our entry widget should show the text hello. Let's try this out. Cool, wonderful, just as expected. What is exactly with the index positioning meant, I want to show with a new example. For this, I copy these two lines. and paste them here below. I change the index to 5 and I change the text from hello to world. Now let's restart the program and try it out. You can see that we have placed the text hello at the beginning of the entry widget and the text world with the index 5 at the fifth position in our entry widget. Today we have learned about one of the most important functions of the entry widget. But there are a lot of other useful functions and options. The entry widget gives us many more options to control the user entries, which will be learned in the next lessons. So stay tuned, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and activate the bell. Thanks in advance for this and all the best until next time.